shock new details of famed UFO encounter revealed after pilots who filmed strange craft gave secret evidence to senators. Welcome back to Mystery Truth, the channel where we bring you strange things that have ever happened concerning aliens, UFOs, volcanic discovery, and so many things in the world. So the secret evidence given to lawmakers about a 2015 incident showed the military man thought the craft was part of his training. Heavily redacted statements about the incidents were released to the Black Vault this week. They read, Towards the end of one of the night flights redacted was conducting during the at sea period, he and his pilot detected an air contact via redacted coming from the east and heading towards the ship. Initially thinking it may be a simulated advisory aircraft as well part of the complex scenario, he took a redacted lock to investigate further. The contact was at approximately redacted. It goes on. With a stable track file, the tow aircraft determined it was not a false hit and they were able to gain a look via the redacted, which further indicated the vehicle had a redacted. It became clear via redacted, the pilot maneuvered the redacted to maintain redacted. Three videos, one taken in 2004 and two in 2015, were leaked to the New York Times three years ago. Pilot Chad Underwood shot the 2004 video which shows the USS Nimitz Tic Tac incident that unfolded during carrier group exercises in the Pacific off the coast of Mexico with six pilots in total spotting the strange sight. They described seeing a Tic Tac shaped object about 40 feet long hovering some 50 feet above the water. The two incidents from 2015 show similar hovering objects which puzzled pilots and they can be heard questioning what the F is that thing as the UFO whizzes through the air? Navy veteran Kevin Day said he was laughed at, mocked, and talked about as he tried to recall what he saw in November 2004, the New York Post reports. He said, from 2004 on 2009, when I walked away from the DOD out of frustration, I had tried in vain to get somebody, anybody at all, to listen to me. Yet, every time I tried to describe what we had witnessed out in Sokar during Tic Tac operation, I was openly laughed at, made the butt of jokes, and once even asked by my then boss just what the F I had been smoking. I also hold Navy slash DOD directly responsible for what I and others went through as a result of trying to uphold our own duty and simply do the job the American people paid and expected us to do. Former fighter pilot Alex Detrich, who was on a training mission when she spotted the Tic Tac shaped up, said she wants to normalize the UFO debate by talking about her experience. She told Reuters that she hopes people will speak about sightings without the fear of being ridiculed or mocked. She said, folks might be concerned about their careers or their church or something like that. They don't want to be a cookie UFO person. So I guess I'm trying to normalize it by talking about it. Secret US files released this week show the Pentagon researched the best way to contact aliens and communicate with a possible 4,590 extraterrestrial civilizations. Witnesses have also alleged UFOs had encounters with humans and even left one woman pregnant. The wild claim were made in bombshell Pentagon documents obtained by the Sun from the Defense Intelligence Agency as part of a huge freedom of information request. UFO sightings can also leave witnesses suffering radiation bones, brain problems, and damaged nerves, according to the newly released files. Last year, the Pentagon released its long-awaited report into what it knows about a series of mysterious flying objects that have been observed in military spaces over the last two decades. Wow. What do you have to say concerning UFOs and aliens? Drop your comments in the comment section. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much.